And joining us now to continue this conversation is the outgoing Afghan ambassador to the United States, Ambassador Roya Rahmani. Ambassador, thank you so much for your time and uh, thank you for coming back on the program. Um, we've been hearing a, a lot of reports from reporters on the ground, like my colleague and others, who are describing for us what they're hearing from officials. I, I'm curious to hear from you directly on the situation in your homeland right now. What will likely happen once the U.S. completes its withdrawal next month? And what can you tell us about the conditions right now? Well, thank you for having me again. Uh, the situation on the ground, as you are hearing, is uh, critical right now uh, more than ever. Uh, we need uh, the support of our allies and partners uh, to continue. Uh, the Afghan security forces uh, would continue to uh, be defending the Afghan people and its territory. And uh, what comes uh, next would really depend on how committed all parties are to a peaceful settlement and ending this long winded conflict. Can you tell me just officially how much control does the Afghan government have of the country of Afghanistan and how much do you believe are in the hands of the Taliban? Well, as you are, uh, you are still well aware that uh, no single province, uh, no uh, center of any provincial capitals are uh, in the hands of Taliban. The government continues uh, to have control over it. Uh, the uh, loss of districts uh, have uh, partly happened as a tactical strategy on part of the security forces in order to uh, focus their concentration and attention uh, to the centers of the population and also uh, bring additional efficiency and efficacy to the work of the security forces. So what do you expect the relationship? You're calling on help from your allies, but what do you expect the relationship between the United States and Afghanistan to look like uh, now that the military component of this is winding down? The uh, relationship between Afghanistan and U.S. has uh, entered a new chapter. Uh, we have heard it from the U.S. officials uh, that the support uh, to the Afghan people and Afghan government would continue in uh, the diplomatic forum, in the humanitarian assistance forum, in the civilian assistance forum, and, and uh, support for Afghanistan economy. At this point, Afghanistan uh, is suffering because there are four wheels that are turning in, in a way that, that is stressing the people of Afghanistan. Conflict, COVID, economy, and uh, the drought. Uh, so to alleviate this and get us through this, we would need uh, additional coordination and systematic approach to address these. All right, Ambassador Rahmani, thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to continuing the conversation with you uh, in the weeks and months ahead. Mm -hmm.